up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is right out of this world. Similar to ourselves, Joey, when we were on the circuit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was, I was, I was warming up uh, the day before. About nine three. It's one of the reasons I was so fit. <laughs> Sluggish starter, because Greg Lobin is on a mission. He's got seven game balls. Fiery Scott, and he's going to get very confident when he takes his first game. I can't see the better face coming back but you never know from the first game and he doesn't perfect length from Greg Lobern, Lobern, Lobern as he just has a little long lingering look at the ball it's a clever shot high up on the forehand side and out, 5-1. It's very difficult to read that. That's cleverly done from Greg Lobham. Very aggressive movement onto that cross court. And out, 6-8. No chance for Gawad. Got it. Not up. Yeah, down. Thank you. Some great pickets from Greg Lobbin in this match. One game over. Yeah, he was unlucky there. He came back strongly, Lobbin. Will, will we see them both play well together? Marky now. Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being critical there, but I'd love to have seen this from the Skyview camera. Sorry, what am I talking about? From the <laughs> from the side, side view camera. View. Here we go. go, here we go, yes. Directing the show. What a finish. There's some severe work going on now for Greg Lobben. Oh wow, that's a good counter. That's a very good rally for Lobben. He was under the cosh, as you said, Parky. Beavering away. Check this out from the angle. That's wicked. It's a lovely shot. It's a better whip from Gawad. He's got a chance now. Had to cover the, the drop shot there, Lobin. 11-8. Well, Gawad tried the flick and it didn't work. Lobham was there and, and out touche. Yeah, he read it. So all credit to Lobham for, for sticking in here. He is uh, well, very he's more tough. Than, yeah, he's more than stuck in. Yeah. And this is far from over. Oh, good cut. Wow. Oh, oh my oh goodness oh me, I'd love oh to see oh that. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, a bit of fire from Gawad. Check this out. Special. This. this is very Watch special. This. <laughs> Perfect. It's a low. That's what he has to do, Robin. The future reference, I think, on cross courts. Great win. There we go. Speak of the devil. There's a very aggressive, very accurate cross court. So another match ball for the baby face assassin. Backhand attack is working so well, and it's 
really helped him there, Karim Abdel Gawad. 15-13, Frustrating for Lobin. It's a really, really good squash from Lobin. He's going to be majorly annoyed with himself, but you can understand that. 55 minutes, 3-1 victory. The baby face moves into the quarterfinals. And the tenacity of somebody like Castanet. So many balls back. That, uh, that win at Canary Wharf a couple of years back was Castanet at his best. Oh, this is where there's problems for uh, Gastonet. You can't fiddle around in front of the court with Gozol. He's too quick and he's too skillful and tricky. A stroke yeah, again to five. the Indian number one. Just game practices his uh, one trademark one. backhand drop shot at the end of the game. Well, this is a furious rally. Oh, he's doing some work here, Castanier. It he really is. Oh my <laughs> goodness, me. Got it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome from the French warrior. What about this pickup though from Gersel there? That one. Who? Left. Gosal. I I still think Gosal's gonna come through. Possibly in in four. Perhaps I think if Castanet's gonna take a game, he's gonna have to take the second one. Oh, I think these I think this is still gonna be three. He's whacking his legs, you see, he's already nine seven. He's already in a tangle. He'd have come into this match full of lactic acid anyway, even with a day's rest. Pete Sampras used to do that on his surf. The tongue came out every single time. I know he tried on, he nearly trod on it once at Wimbledon. This is a really fast front ball, so to get that ball falling as short as that takes a lot of skill. Yeah, it's clever. Clever from Gosal. It's nice and relaxed. And now, getting in really good four. positions around the court here. That's a wonderful finish. She's a lob drop man. Oh. Clever. Yeah, very, very, very clever. Five match awards. Yes, three yeah. games to one. A tremendous battle. He's played the longest match of the tournament so far, overcoming Lucas Serm, his teammate, 104 minutes. Rest day, but that can sometimes shut you down, would you believe? Be a weird one with the rest day. Can actually give you a chance to get a bit stiff. But well, Jesse Engelbrecht managed to get a better seat now at the back of the court. I don't Who? know if he's doing any work with Tom Richards. Oh, you mean Jesse Humperdinck? Jesse Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Eight all. And out 10 all a player must win by two points. Each player has one review available. What would be a very uh, satisfying win in this tournament. Richards. Yes, sir. 
I mean, the only thing is you can maybe step forward. Stroke to Mossad, decision upheld. 12-10, game to Mossad. Mossad leads one game to low. Needed to just move back off the ball. Wow, that was pretty impressive. The crowd enjoyed that one. Good technique. Tom Richards, look at the top of the bounce, really bringing the ball down. Nice follow through. What number is she in? Oh, she's quite a bit higher up than that. Oh, got to volley the return of serve. Yeah, exactly. The moral of the tale there. Just Nine what the doctor seven. ordered for Richards. Home court advantage. I'm on my side. Had enough of that second game. Oh, a lovely finish there from Tom Richards. Really appreciated by the crowd. Just change of direction. shot from Richards got it low chance though for Mossad didn't get it low enough and that was duly punished nice bit of skill there good hands from Tom Richard it's missing a lot of opportunities to volley here Mossad down that is a two huge chances for Mossad that was a very yeah. nice ball Pete Parkey even and all each player has won if you really available. nice teed up there for Mossad your opponent it's a fair decision Well, that is pretty impressive, and the crowd here really enjoyed that. Richards. The anticipation Richards on the forehand volley to a winner. Well, that was pretty nifty. Good hands there from Tom Richards. Half volley, top spin. Couldn't have been any better. I think he's had uh, he's had enough here on the other side. He's guessing a lot. Is that one correctly? Yeah, he's not. Um, he's not. He's not moving uh, the way he should. And match balls for Richards to move into the quarterfinals here. Also giving up. 11-2. Match to Richards. So Richards. Managing to overcome a, a hammer of four. 61 minutes, three games to one. Really well played from Declan James after a, a, a greyhound-like start from Ali Farag. Out of the blocks very quick. One of his favourite shots, that forehand, just missed it. Chance again though for Declan James and he's missed it. He perhaps went a little bit too open. squeeze there that was a terrific first game frustrating obviously for Declan James but he's had to draw the best out of Ali Farag ah. perspective of depth wonderful wonderful shot there from Declan James oh, he's playing off his rocker here James Good hands, getting very, very. Which of course he'd be wow. eager to do. That's a great finish, wonderful finish. It's usually forehand side, but great control on the backhand from Doug James. Three game balls to equalise.
goodness me. Yeah, was my number. Video referee, can you please check Mr. Farax? Well, that looked pretty dead to me, Parky. I don't know what you felt. Yeah. I my initial thought was uh, it was down. It was down. Yeah, yeah. 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 two bounces. Yeah. So Declan James did have a, a long battle with Adrian Waller. <laughs> Although he had that day's rest, it doesn't always seem to help the players. Didn't, it? didn't help uh, Matthew Castagnier. No, certainly not. Well, Declan James Nine. just starting to feel it once again. Ali Farag rushing. It's quite extraordinary that Farag has still got three game balls, but the damage was done with the, the six love lead very very quickly oh he's fallen over lost his balance there Declan James yeah, the ball was down. 11 7 to Farag. well Farag, Farag to wanting to get off court it's immaculate a lot of things really <laughs> keeps a very tidy appearance he's very professional He's just in general, he's a tidy uh, outfit, isn't he, really? Tidy. So, match ball for Farag. Oh, oh he's gone for oh. it. He's gone for it. Wow. He's gone for it. <laughs> it's, it. it's like slam dunk here. James resembling a basketball. I mean, he had to do some work with his racket face. For Farag, he's dying to get off court. <laughs> I mean, I think he'd be physically okay in the fifth, but he doesn't want the uh, the stress. He's going for it. Well wow. done. Had to slam dunk it, but it was some excellent squash. I've not seen Declan James play like that. So, terrific match there. Very, very good match. Ali Farag had to finish that off severely. 57 minutes. Some severe squash. Gutsy squash from James as well.